check the timing on this uh, Honda Accord. Now this, the, the uh, cover for the camshaft is off, and I'm going to down here. I've got a 19 millimeter socket. I'm going to put on the uh, this big bolt here. Okay, now you can see the uh, marks coming around. There's one that says up. Ah, it's hard. It's compression. Okay, we're coming up. You can see right here. It's coming up. And we've got two others here, and they need to be level with the bottom of the uh, valve cover. Okay, you look here. There's a. You pull this rubber cover off. You can see timing marks on the flywheel. Uh, there, there's a mark right there, a line. This is what this pointer here points towards that line and you can tell the lines right about half an inch above it there's a cutout here you can see there's no metal and so this is a line so you want the camshaft marks up you want this line here and if you take the distributor cap this is this is uh, cylinder number one the rotor will be pointing at number one and what this means is uh, all these these three should all be lined up we want to we want to check to see if we're one tooth off on the uh, camshaft sprocket Okay, it turns out the uh, we were off one sprocket. We, we slid the belt off and turned the uh, camshaft sprocket. There's a 12 millimeter uh, nut there that you can turn it with. Now you should you're supposed to tear it off, uh, change it by tearing the whole lower and upper valve cover off. We just slid it off and slid it back on. It was really hard, so I don't recommend that. But uh, that's how we did it. You've got to get your belt tight too, uh, or it'll uh, jump a sprocket.